going to have to come up here and start shedding your clothing in a game of strip hangman. Let's find out who it's going to be. Nick, let's start with you. Who did you choose? I chose Eddie. <laughs> Eddie! I did. I didn't know you cared. Well, <laughs> I think you have some uh, wonderful piercings and some great tattoos in America, and the audience should see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Eddie, who'd you vote for? I voted for Nick. Because, uh... Something going on between you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out who Darren voted for. I'm the third party. I voted for Eddie. <laughs> Maria, who'd you vote for? Nick. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I have to say, I'm very surprised. Uh, Maria, I thought it was going to be you all <laughs> the way. These guys, I'm a little worried Thank about. Thank you. It's a tie. Two votes for Eddie, two votes for Nick. And in the event of a tie here on Dog Eat Dog, the deciding vote goes to the player who was last sent to the dog pound, which was oh, Angela. Angela. <laughs> you have to choose between Nick or Eddie. Who do you prefer to see possibly have to strip down? Nick. Nick. Why Nick, Angela? Because I really need him in the dog pound. <laughs> Why do you say that? I, I'm willing to take a risk on this one. For some reason, my intuition tells me that I'm making the right decision. All right, we'll go with Angela's intuition. <laughs> Nick, it's all about you right now. Well, I don't know what to say, Brooke. I'm uh, taking it back. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, Eddie, why did you vote for Nick? Yesterday in camp, uh, several times, we were just talking about all the wild things that could happen on the show. And when the topic of nudity or showing anything came up, he totally got cold feet and backed up. Really? He was, yeah, he was Unlike Darren. Oh, oh wish. That's the freak of the group. What are you Forget talking about? about? <laughs> Forget about it. I wouldn't have done it. Darren wanted to right. do that. He was his shirt off. <laughs> no oh, way. Yeah. Any fears here? Not at all. Ever dream of being a Playgirl Centerfold? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. No? I'm pretty confident about this, uh, but we'll see what happens, right? Shy as you may be, you've been chosen for Strip Hangman, so come on out. Let's play the game. All right. All right, Nick, now remember, you get one guess at the word each time you pick a letter correctly. But each time you pick an incorrect letter, you have to give me an article of clothing. If you get too ashamed to continue or end up completely naked without having guessed right, you're off to the dog pound and have lost your shot at 25 grand. But remember, if you figure it out, you'll get to send someone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. Are you ready? I think so, yeah. All right, let's put the puzzle on our Circuit City big screen. Nick, pick your first letter now. E. Is there an E? Ooh, two E's, Nick. Lucky so far. What is your next letter? T. T. Is there a T? No T, no Nick. T. Take something off. I like this game. Next letter. R. Is there an R? No R. Nick? What's it gonna be? Shoe number two. Brooke, I'll be honest with you, this is a reality show nightmare. <laughs> How about G? Is there a G? No G, Nick. A sock? You're giving me a dirty sock instead of your shirt? Okay, I guess that is your choice. Next letter, please. A. Is there an A? One A. Lucky you. Do you want to take a guess? Or do you want to continue guessing letters? I'll keep guessing letters. Okay, what's the next one gonna be? N. Is there an N? Uh. One N. You're very lucky. Would you like to take a guess? D. Is there a D? Yes, there is. I'm getting nervous that, um, we're only gonna get to have seen one badly pedicured foot here. Brooke, that's a good assumption. <laughs> um, are you gonna try and solve the word or are you gonna continue guessing letters, Nick? I'm gonna continue guessing letters. H. 
Is there an H? Yes, there is an H. You're getting very close. Hey, guys, are you guys getting nervous yet? Yeah. You should be. Yes. Is there an S? No S, Nick. For two badly pedicured feet. You should smell them, bro. Oh. I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thanks. Anyway. Um. S. I think you already said S, but it costs uh, you anyway. Awesome. You owe me another article of clothing. What's it going to be, Nick? Shirt or pants? How you feel now, Nick? A little nervous, Brooke. Still? Nervous. You were nervous five minutes ago. I'm still nervous. Are you I more nervous? I can't figure out this word. You can't? Do it over again. Remember, if you take another guess at a letter and you're wrong, you owe me another article of clothing. And you don't have much left. <laughs> you're very observant, Brooke. <laughs> um, I'm just guessing, but I mean, I don't know. You are wearing something under the sweatpants, aren't you, Nick? I don't know. We'll save that for the next letter. I guess we will. Uh, M. M. Is there an M? No! M, Nick! Time to drop the pants! <laughs> He's gonna start having fun if he keeps doing it. He's ripping! Wow. the next letter and you're wrong. I have a feeling, right? Brooke, honestly, I have no idea. I just can't do it. I, I, I don't know it. If you get one more letter, you'll probably guess it like that. You've got a lot of supporters here, Nick. The choice is yours. You can guess one more letter, but if you get it wrong, you're going to be naked. That seems to be the case, huh? <laughs> that seems to be the case. But I... If you get it right, you could win the $25,000. You might end up being top dog. You might end up taking this whole thing home. Brick, I think I'm going to have to make my way to the dog pound. All right, well, if you will reveal no more of yourself, then we're going to have to go ahead and reveal the word. Knucklehead! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Cool. Nick, you know what this means. You just gave up your shot at $25,000. You're off to the dog pound to join Angela and Sherry. I'm very sorry. Oh. Good attempt. We're sorry we couldn't see more of you. All right. Well, we're really getting down to the wire here. The next challenge is the pendulum swing, which is a test of coordination and endurance. Remember when you were a kid and you wanted to get your swing all the way over the bar? Well, we've built you a swing that can do it. The question is, can you make it happen? You have two minutes to complete one 360 degree revolution. So, who do you think can't get it up and over? It's time to choose the loser. will be put to the test when we come back to Dog Eat Dog.